you know, especially the uh, coverage on what happened in London. I mean, it's unbelievable coverage. Seven people were killed. What a disaster. It involves, it involves uh, uh, the terror, terrorist uh, 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 issue. And uh, it was wall-to-wall -wall coverage on this. And I was thinking, this is important. This is dangerous. Of course, I think it's more dangerous because they won't admit uh, and come around to what's really going on and why this is happening. So they, um, but, but they were saying that, uh, you know, the whole thing is, is uh, uh, this was very important. But, you know, during this period of time, uh, there was probably more than 100 murders in our cities. You know, we have uh, 16,000 murders uh, in our country. Very, very serious. And they say, yeah, that's different, but that doesn't downplay the seriousness of terrorism. No, it doesn't. It's all very, very bad. But I think the interesting thing is uh, on, on this one is everybody wants to take advantage of it, to spin it their way so that they can make good use of a, of a crisis. And I think that's a lot of reason why there's so much coverage. And one thing that that they essentially always do, especially the progressive, they must be awfully frustrated this week. And that is, it's always used to say, see, those guns did it. They don't, <laughs> they, they forgot about the story that guns don't kill, it's the people that do the killing. So these people didn't even have guns and they did some killing. I mean, uh, knives and cars and this sort of thing. So uh, I, I guess that is one incident, but believe me, they've, they've come up with some other excuses on what to talk about and to whom to blame. Yeah, it is. It's interesting what they, uh, how they share the blame. But you know, this is the third terror attack uh, or terror type attack in the UK in the last three months. So certainly, this is something on people's minds. You're right. The media does upplay it. But what's interesting is some of these. You see some of the same patterns in each attack. You know, apparently, uh, one of the attackers actually appeared in a documentary video called "The Jihadis Next Door." You think that might have tipped off the police, but in fact, uh, this guy was reported to the anti-terror police at least twice. They still did nothing. Uh, and yet uh, people like the Prime Minister Theresa May blames YouTube for the problems yeah. rather than, you know, the surveillance state in the UK still can't seem to catch these people. Yeah, and it, what do they do? We need more surveillance, and that's the problem. Yes. You know, before 9-11, we were just uh, spending a pittance on it, $40 billion a year, and there was some evidence uh, out there of indicating what was uh, could possibly happen, and they didn't use it. So they doubled the amount. Now it's up to about $80 billion. And so, <clears throat> so they always use this uh, for an excuse. And it's always uh, used to, you know, to uh, get the military budget up. I mean, the terrorists are coming, the terrorists are coming, and this is, uh, this is why we have to do more. So there's a proposal, of course, uh, even before this attack, that we increase the military budget by, you know, a trillion dollars over the next decade or so. Increase the money as if the money and fear is the, is the problem without addressing the, the real uh, reason why, why this goes on. You know, this uh, migration is obviously a big problem. People are coming in and they're traveling over all, uh, all over the world and there's these cultural Marxists that say, well, you know, you have to let them come in, let them assimilate and there'll be no, no protections. And, and uh, yet they never say, well, wh where are they coming from? Well, we know where they're coming from. There's seven countries. We want to stop all this immigration uh, from these, these seven countries. But, you, you know, there was a period of time, uh, you know, since, uh, since uh, nine, uh, nine uh, no, since 1975 up until 2015, uh, there was never an American killed in, in, in America by anybody from those seven countries. You know, and they have Iran in there and Yemen and all that. But the countries that might be more associated with terrorism, you know, if, they, if you want to get into the discussion of Saudi Arabia, maybe that's something they should have addressed. But no, there's no evidence for this. And yet it's used to terrify the American people, scare the American people, and then go along with immigration as if immigration will solve the problem of migration, which is uh, not a, a natural phenomenon. This is all artificial and it's government controlled. So this is far from what libertarians have sought to have more open immigration and travel. This is completely different. This is a consequence of some very bad policy.